It's championship day out here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports. We're going to be broadcasting the 10th grade D1 and D2 National Championships. And today we brought in a special guest. Some may know him as the Big O, but to us, he's Oscar Robertson. Can you tell us what you're doing out here today, sir? Well, I have the opportunity to uh, broadcast uh, a couple of games today. I guess it's semifinal games, and should be interesting games. With young people from all over the country, just, just all they want to do is play basketball. And I think it's great that the AAU has gotten this venue together, and also Disney and ESPN, because I think the youth of the country today is what we really should be focusing on a lot. There are a lot of problems in the country, but the youth, is, I think, is going in the right direction. Yes, yeah, youth, youth basketball has just sprung up just over in the past past years. Can you talk a little bit about just what it, how important it is to cultivate our youth and to instill those fundamentals in them? Because I feel like sometimes, you know, basketball has gotten away from that. Well, many years ago, I was involved in a system called a PAL club. It's called a police athletic league where uh, in, each, in each area where you live, there was a policeman who was in charge of sports and watching kids and making sure kids didn't get into trouble, which is what which a lot of times you don't have today. This program is, uh, captivates a lot of the young people like that, and it gives them an opportunity to get, get their thoughts, you know what I mean? Because I think if a kid is idle, especially a teenager, he gets into trouble. If you keep them busy, keep them involved, keep them motivated into doing something like this and where they have an opportunity to go on into college, I don't maybe into the pros. Not everyone's going to make the pros, mm -hmm. but at least they can think of that. You know, that's a goal that they will always have in their minds. What What do you think about AAU and what they're doing with youth basketball? I think it's great. I, you know, I, th I think there's, a, there's been a big void in this country. It, it, but I must say, I'm glad this is on ESPN and whatnot because a lot of people are not familiar with AAU basketball, mm -hmm. especially getting into a lot of the inner city kids. You know, you know, they, they don't. They're not really familiar with what goes on, but fortunately, uh, there are a lot of teams. There are a lot of AAU basketball teams, and I think that we should do a lot better job to making sure people are aware and know what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So, can you give us any tips as to what you might think we can do as far as branching out and grasping more of those youth today to get involved in basketball? I think it's the, the, the high school coaching system, uh, the high schools themselves. Uh, let kids understand and know that there is an opportunity. All of them are not going to make it, of course, mm -hmm. uh, because you know if you if you can't play, it's, it's difficult. If you cannot play, if you cannot play well, it's going to be difficult to get on these teams. But at least let them make them aware of what's going on, because you know a lot of kids who are playing today in AU basketball, it's it, it's it's a hope, as I said before, it's, it's a it's a goal that they have in their mind. But at least they have this there, and at least that if kids are aware of it, you might find another LeBron James someplace. All right, so we're going to take it back a little bit because basketball today is not what it was, you know, during your time. Can you kind of explain that for people who may not know exactly the changes that have evolved? Well, fortunately for me, I have a book called The Art of Basketball, which tells about the fundamentals. When I came up to play basketball, fundamentals were king. Uh, the coaches didn't didn't emphasize shoot, you shooting a basketball from anywhere on the court, especially the three-point line because you didn't have it then. So you worked up, you worked on footwork, pass the ball, defensive position, switching, boxing out, all those things that are necessary for an athlete to play. And and today. They don't think those things are necessary, mm -hmm. but they are. If, if you're going to win big time basketball games, and all right now in the tournament that we had here, there were some one point games. The game was won with two seconds on the clock or something like that. But it all boils down to: Do I box out? Do I give the team one shot? And I do I play good hard defense? That's why you win. No matter what, no matter what year is in the '60s, '50s, '80s, or 2000s, that's what's going to win for you. And now a couple fundamentals. What what are some that you think are so key to a kid's game today? I think a kid's got to learn how to pass the ball. Uh, he's got he's got to know what a double team is all about, where it's coming from. Uh, don't know where dribble the ball. Don't dribble too much. Uh, know when to move. When to set picks. When set picks so that not only the first first option, the second option, but the third option may work for you. Those types of things like that. But it takes a while to get to that point. I mean, you know, I, a lot of kids today that when we do the games, you know, they, they're not going to understand that right now, but they will eventually. And if you could give any advice to kids that are aspiring to grow up and get to that college level and maybe even the pro level, what are some key things that they need to do on and off the court to become that special player? Be careful who you run around with. Take care of yourself. Stay in shape. And we're in practice. I mean, education is important also. Don't don't let that don't let that slip at all. Because if you don't get that, you're not going to be a basketball player. Some will, some slip through, but not often. Not often at all. 
Now, what can we look forward to for me? Because as you said, you have a book. Could you talk a little bit about that and maybe what people can look for? Well, my book tells about fundamentals. I mean, who, I used to have a basketball camp, and I'll, I'll tell you this. When you have a basketball camp that I had, it was boring to the kids because I didn't, I didn't emphasize on shooting the ball all the time. We worked on steps, we worked on passing the ball, worked on the right kind of dribble, worked on uh, moving without the ball, worked on talking on defense and whatnot. But I, I, tell, I, always, I told kids this when they came to the camp. <clears throat> Initially, you, this is going to be boring to you, but when you get back to start playing basketball and you're with your teams, you're going to thank me. And they do. When they get back to start doing these things instinctively without thinking about whether they're going to make the right step or help out on defense or whatnot or box out, they do those things instinctively, then they call back, man, I'm glad I went to that camp. That's a great basketball camp to me. Well, there you have it from one of the greats in the NBA. Stay tuned to more about his book because we are going to be promoting it more and we're going to be letting you guys know where you can find it online and in the stores. So stay tuned to ESPN.com today. 1 p.m. kicks off the D2 National Championships and at 3.30 on ESPN3.com is the D1 National Championships. Thanks so much, guys, and look forward to some great basketball.